Welcome, Leo, to your November Master Dice reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your Astro Dice. Best message, please, for Leo. We have some Gemini energy coming out with some Saturn energy in the first house. Talking about yourself. Um, the Saturn over here is very interesting. <clears throat> this is talking about the part of you that accepts the challenge to gain the wisdom. Okay. And having that Gemini energy coming out with it. The energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible this month. So definitely want to have some kind of communication going on talking about the first house as well, uh, what people see and the impressions you give and how you're also seeing yourself. I always like to make sure that we understand that the first house can also be how we perceive ourselves. That's why she's kind of looking in the mirror, in the mirror, not only thinking, how do I see myself, but how I see myself sometimes is also how others can see you as well. Or what is it that they do see in me? Can I realize that as well? Am I powerful? Am I this? Am I that? So, Let's see what's going on over here. I'm going to use just regular tarot cards. Going straight into the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and the end of the month, we are talking about accepting some kind of challenge to have the understanding of how you perceive yourself and how others are perceiving what you are doing this month. Um, and definitely feeling like there is something that is uh, communicating these thoughts in these situations. First card coming out is the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Two of Cups in reverse, and swiftly moving with the Knight of Swords. So knowing exactly where you want to go, but feeling like maybe you're surrounding yourself with something that is not allowing it to move. So you might feel like the energy around you is kind of like, there's something that I really want, but I'm not sure how I'm really going to move towards this, but I really want to center myself and kind of conquer the situation. And I think this is where the first house is really kind of like, well, how do I do this? Um, do others see me as conquering the situation, as moving towards the situation? Do they see exactly what I'm doing over here? Um, and why are they separating themselves from this situation? That's what's making me, you know, kind of wonder over here. And it's, it's uh, kind of a, huh, why are they taking kind of a step back when I'm moving so fast? So... Definitely have the Ace of Coins over here is accepting the challenge is sort of like I I kind of accept what's going on, but I do feel that someone around you is not accepting exactly where you're moving at this time. So you might feel like um, you're moving towards maybe a familiar ground, but maybe they don't want it to be as familiar. Does that make sense? They don't like the situation. Maybe they feel like you're returning back to something that, you know, you're familiar with and anchoring yourself and centering yourself there in the beginning of the month, but they're not on the same page. They don't really want to do so. No, they find it painstaking error. They're saying, why, Leo? Why are you going to go back to what you wanted to do? And it causes a little bit of conflict. And also within the first house of yourself, it also causes conflict of interest within yourself. So this is definitely going to have to require some kind of anchorage and centering within yourself to try to get to exactly, yes, where you want to get what you want. And they're saying, no, that's not exactly what I really want. So there could be some emotional ties also, excuse me, connected to where it is you're trying to be, um, to be satisfied. Okay. And they're not really on the same page over here. Maybe they feel like there was too much loss. Um, maybe it's returning to the same old kind of job. Uh, maybe you did some kind of work once before and they're asking you, hey, you know what, we didn't really do good there. Why would you want to go back? It almost feels like there could be some kind of kind of renovation type of thing, like, well, you know, or, or reinventing of something um, that you felt like was a failure in the past, but now I've got this and I can do this. And they're saying, no, 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 no. That caused a lot of issues, right? So we've got the King of Pentacles coming out in the mid-month with the Three of Pentacles ooh, in reverse. They're still not liking what you're doing in the past. Yes. They say, stop, stop. It's almost like, uh, oh, it's 
So you're seeing the prosperity is come, coming from wanting to do what you're doing. Um, you're holding tight to that. Uh, but with the Three of Pentacles upside down, they're saying, no, I don't really see the rewards, what you're doing over here, Leo. I, I don't understand why you're still over here hung and clinging to this past situation. And it's, just, like I said, it's because you feel like there is something there that you can now move and have the victory to do so. And they're seeing you as, no, what are you doing? So the impression that they're really getting over here in the 11th house is pretty much the why. Why are you doing this? What are you doing? And you're kind of looking over here going, I'm reinventing myself, the idea, returning back to the past to fix exactly what I wanted to fix, what I believe can actually happen. They don't want to patiently plan the situation with you. They don't, because they don't see anything actually um, confident enough for this to work out. So they really have lack of confidence in the situation. You keep going forward. So it's definitely going to cause some kind of mis misunderstandings and some maybe even some frustrations. You're looking at the long time, uh, the long term goals over here, Leo, and they're not they're not seeing it with you. But the long term goals can actually, you know, that you are dealing with is causing a little bit of frustration. Um, but I think it's more frustrating with the people around you than it is within yourself. The only frustrations you're really having is trying to make them understand something. So as you're reconnecting, you might even be trying to reconnect with an old friend from the past and they're saying, what are you doing? Maybe you're trying to offer cups to an ex and maybe your sister or someone or your best friend is saying, what are you doing? <clears throat> Giving them a second chance. Take it how it resonates, you know what you're doing. You know what your long-term goal is over here right? They just don't see it the way you're, you're seeing this. So getting straight to the end of the month. Yeah. Taking the focus off of maybe a Pisces, could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. Could go, like I said, it could even be two different people involved in the situation, could be dealing with an air sign and a water sign. <clears throat> Could even be another fire sign as well. We've got a lot of signs up here. At the end of the month, you definitely have the Ace of Wands saying that I am moving exactly where I need to be, and this is exactly where I want to be, and this is the goals that I have. Um, there definitely could be some kind of, re like I said, reconnection of a friendship of a Pisces. Finally connecting where you feel like you're connecting, but you're definitely not focused on, <clears throat> on other plans. It feels like you are just focused right now, mostly on what, yes, on the courage to get exactly where you want, where you're moving forward. And this other person does feel like they're a little bit out in the cold. And I think it's just because they don't feel like you're listening to them. So your friends could actually feel like the connections that you're having are, yeah, it's a misunderstanding. They think you're kind of cold shouldering the situation. Um, and really not listening or paying attention to what, they, what they're what they saying. They're a little confused about the situation. You are offering wants to this person. Um, and, you know, hey, you know what? Let's get through this. Could be having a little bit of downtime with the hermit at this time as you're trying to improve the situation. That's, you know, trying to be more satisfying through the situation. And, you know, you have the Ace of Wands. So whatever you're doing, it's actually going to come together pretty nicely. Um, you know, yeah, there's no escaping the situation. There's, you know, the only thing that I see over here is that they still have the understanding of the lack of direction that you are actually trying to go after. They just don't get it. And this is where the first house is really coming through. The impressions that they're saying is, I think you're a little confused about the situation. I don't know exactly where you're going on this situation. Um, you know, do you understand what you're doing? Um, so I don't really, like I said, I don't even at the end of the month see them on your side about this situation. Absolutely not. But you're keeping committed and keeping faithful to your situation and to what you are dealing with. And that's going to give you the boost of confidence and, and ego that you actually need. Because, you know, hey, you know what? I'm doing what I, that's right, what I want to do. 
you know, maybe you listened to them in the past and maybe, you know, maybe that's where all the swords came from. Right? And really, you know, wanting the support. You want the support from, could it be the earth sign over here? It's Capricorn or Virgo. Or maybe a Taurus. You want them to be on your side, but you don't see that really happening. But I do see you working harder to pursue, you know, the better position, the better job, you know, fixing the relationship with someone else. However your, you know, your situation is, because no matter what, in the end, yes, all the turmoil that you've been going through is actually going to start dissipating. Look, Leo, you're in your own energy. So you're saying, and now I have the courage and I, I know what I'm doing. I just wish they'd get on board with you. So it's almost like the outside world is calling you and you're taking, you're taking the ignition to do so. And it's definitely something that you're going back from the past to come back and refix it, reorganize it. I think that the thing is too, is you're giving, you know, a lot more attention to the situation where maybe you felt like there was lack of, of uh, attention to it to begin with. So there is a lot more motivation going on over here. Okay, so very nice reading. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye. Thank you.